Consumer Reports tests more than 150 refrigerators a year for temperature performance, capacity, and energy consumption, all to see which machines will keep your food fresh more efficiently. Our guide will arm you with expert knowledge to pick the style or model that best suits your needs. Consumer Reports online subscribers can find specific brand recommendations and exclusive product ratings on our website. This video is interactive, so click any chapter to skip around. If you're replacing a refrigerator that fits between or beneath cabinets, measure carefully to make sure the new model will work in the same space and allow for door clearance. Also be sure your new unit will make it through all doors and halls on the way to the kitchen. Chances are there are more refrigerator door options available than when you last shopped, so check out these different styles. Refrigerators with the freezer on top are the most popular and the least expensive. You'll get pull-outs and bins, spill guard shelves, and enough space in the door to hold gallon containers. They're fairly wide shelves, give you a lot of nice open storage. The bottom shelves can be a little hard to reach, and the single wide door requires a lot of clearance. Expect to pay $400 to $1,800. We've tested energy efficient models that perform well for just $600. Side-by-side -side models are a good fit for narrow kitchens because they take up the least space with their doors open. Most side-by-sides come with a through-the-door ice and water dispenser. Although this is the feature most requested by buyers, our surveys show that refrigerators with it require far more repairs than those without it. The narrow freezers mean a frozen pizza usually won't fit, and you may find that items tend to get hidden behind each other. Refrigerators with the freezer on the bottom are the fastest growing category by far. Your fresh foods are within easy reach. You'll need to bend a bit to access your freezer items, but pullouts allow you to see foods from above. You can get single or French door models with two narrow doors, a plus if you want to just take something out of one side and let less cold air out. There are also four door bottom freezers. Now they typically have a pull out middle drawer with adjustable temperatures that makes them a great place to store everything from drinks to meats to fruits and vegetables. Basic bottom freezer styles range from $800 to $2,000. With French doors and extra compartments, they can start at $1,300 and go up to $4,000. Four-door models typically cost three dollars to $5,000. Cabinet depth refrigerators are designed to be flush to the counters, with the doors usually extending past the countertop. These refrigerators are shallow, about 29 to 30 inches deep. Cabinet depth refrigerators are available as side-by-sides, and the French door style is even more popular. Expect to pay $1,300 to $3,500. French door models start at $1,500. For an impressive designer look, built-in refrigerators are designed to fit flush with your cabinetry. This imposing yet sleek look comes with a hefty price tag, $6,000 up to $12,000. They're typically available as bottom freezers or side-by-sides. Because of their shallower depth, usually 24 or 25 inches, they offer less storage space. Refrigerator columns are a new subcategory of built-ins that you can play with. Pick a refrigerator from 18 to 30 inches wide and a freezer from 18 to 24 inches and place them together or across the room from each other. Flexibility comes at a price. You'll pay between $3,000 and $9,000 for a refrigerator column. Refrigerator drawers that mount beneath the countertop or island are attractive and convenient, but expensive. A single drawer unit runs from $1 to $2,000, and two drawers can be had for $1,800 to $5,000. Our tests reveal that they're not very energy efficient, and the small amount of room they provide might not be worth giving up the storage space. These little refrigerators are suitable for a family room or a college dorm. The freezer is usually tiny. It's a good idea to monitor the temperature if you're storing perishables like milk inside. Our ratings find that some maintain temperatures well, but even the most efficient compact refrigerators can use nearly as much energy as a full-size model. How much refrigerator should you buy? Manufacturers suggest 19 to 22 cubic feet for a family of four, and most people buy one that holds 20 to 25 cubic feet. But if you do a big weekly shopping trip or stock up on bulk items, you might need more space. Here's how the different styles stack up. In general, top freezer models offer the least amount of space, from 10 to 25 claimed cubic feet. Bottom freezers can run from 17 to 25 claimed cubic feet. Shallower cabinet depth models range from 12 to 25 claimed cubic feet. The largest capacity is found in big built-ins that range from 12 to 30 claimed cubic feet. Side-by-sides with 19 to 30, and French door models with the freezer on the bottom that claim up to 34 cubic feet of space inside.
Our testers check for a refrigerator's real capacity, measuring the amount of usable space inside the cavity, and we find it's usually about 20% less than the cubic feet claimed. We also test refrigerators for their temperature performance, using sensitive devices called thermocouples that are placed throughout the refrigerator and freezer compartments. Engineers monitor performance and energy use and include it in our ratings. To keep food really fresh, your refrigerator should maintain a consistent 37 degrees Fahrenheit. The meat compartment should be 32 degrees and your freezer should be kept at zero. We test for noise using precision sound measuring devices. Each model is also assessed by a panel of engineers who listen for whining, rattling and ice maker noise. Models with dual evaporators tend to maintain higher humidity levels in the fresh food section, which can keep your vegetables fresh longer. Instead of circulating freezing dry air from the freezer into the refrigerator, the refrigerator compartment has its own cooling system. This can also keep refrigerator odors from migrating to your freezer and vice versa. Other features you'll come across have less to do with actual refrigeration and more to do with coolness, as in style. Check out these soft closed drawers. These blue lights look chilly, but might mask the appearance of your fruit. This European style freezer stays cold while you look through the bins at your ice cream. Want a cold seltzer straight from the door? How about some hot water for your tea? Or do you prefer coffee served from your refrigerator door? There are sliders and drawers that help you customize your refrigerator space. We like this four-door configuration with refrigeration on top and two compartments below. One can convert to either freezer or refrigerator space. And this clear door within a door stores frequently used foods right in front, keeping the chill inside the main compartment. We're a not-for-profit and pay for all the items we test. Thanks for your support.